you know, my I was a high school coach and I was a club coach and I was coaching, and my my oldest son was wanted to wrestle. He was like five or six years old. He wanted to wrestle. That's what he wanted to do. So I let him start wrestling, and we're going to all these tournaments and all these things. And he did, he was very successful. He did well as a youngster. He did well as a kid. He did really well in high school. But by the time he got ready to go to college, he went down to Oklahoma State. He was he was burned out. He really could care less. All he wanted to do at that point in time was ride a horse or a bull because rodeo was more interesting. So that's what he did. Now, my youngest son, he wasn't interested at all. Dad, this is my brother's thing. I don't want to do it. And that, that's fine. It's too much work to do it if, unless you're doing it for yourself. You sure shouldn't be doing it for your mom or dad or your brother or your sister because it's too much work. So he, seventh grade, he comes home. And he says, you know, I'm bored. All my friends are wrestling. It's two weeks into the season. And he says, you're supposed to junior high coach and let me start, turn out. And I said, I kind of think so. I'm a high school coach. Yeah, the junior high coach might let you turn out. And he said, but I, I want to promise. He said, all you're going to do is just be dad. You're going to sit in the stands and watch me, but you're not going to, you're just going to let me do this. This is my thing. And you're just dad, okay? And I said, that's fine. No problem. So he turns out in the seventh grade two weeks late. On the course of catching up, over the course of, of the 7th and 8th grade, he wrestled a total of 16 junior high matches in his two years. That's all he wrestled. No freestyle. 16 matches. He went 15 and 1. He was in the room watching. He was watching his brother wrestle. He was watching me teach. He's absorbing by imaging. Even though he hasn't done it, it's coming easy because he spent all these years having to watch it and being around it, it just it, it absorbs. You don't have to force it. Now he's injury free, it's excited, it's his idea, it's not my idea, and it's too much work for somebody to be doing for somebody other than themselves. I mean, if you aren't doing it for yourself, you're doing it for the wrong reason because it's too much work, it's too much heartache. Wrestling is like a roller coaster. The highs are up here, and the lows are so low, a pregnant aunt couldn't go under. You know, and it's, 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 and it's like this. You better be doing it because you love it, because if you aren't, it, it ain't gonna last. He got into high school, now he had to make a decision. Am I gonna wrestle for you or not? Because I either quit coaching or he wrestles for me. So he came into high school and I coached him, but I, I thought, you know what, I got a really good assistant. I'm gonna let my assistant work with him. And, and he had an outstanding high school career again, but he didn't start till later. So he went down to Oklahoma State for that year and then program changed. Joe left, and he came home, Tim Vanny called, and he spent the next seven, eight years wrestling international freestyle at 114 pounds. It was his idea, it was his thing. He, he, he never got tired of it, he never got burned out, and he was just mentally and physically healthy because he was doing it for him, not for dad, not for anything else. And he was smart. You know, when I was his high school coach, even though I had the assistant, well, I'd grab him once in a while and say, hey, you and I need to have a talk. And he'd look at me and say, well, am I talking to my dad or my coach? And I'd say, you're talking to your coach. He said, well, I could really use my dad right now, so when you find him, let me know. I'd like to talk to him. I mean, <laughs> he knew how to work me. But if you if you got kids that are wrestling, pay attention. Listen to them. A lot of it needs to be their idea, not yours. That doesn't mean you don't guide them. That doesn't mean you don't steer them. But you can't steer a parked car. So they better be in motion and want to be going where you're, where you're pushing them or they ain't going to get there.